oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Hello there. I'm the Velvet Snatch, and I'm here with the sensational champion of the competition, maybe? Gloria Love. How are you doing? Oh, well, I'm fabulous, me love. I do have a little bit of tonsillitis, so I won't get too close. Mm. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm go doing good. I'm excited for tonight. Nervous, but, like, it's going to be a fab night. Like, does the, ner does, the ton ton does the tonsillitis, like, you know, uh, is that affecting you with, you know, obviously singing a lot? Uh, yeah, so it is a little bit, but I'm just going to let whatever happens tonight just happen because we're just going to put on a show and have a good time, and that's, that's all we can do, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, but it's... We'll see what happens. <laughs> I mean, you are doing so well in this competition, and this is the first competition you've entered, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's my very first competition. I'm sort of a virgin to competitions. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're sort of seeing what, what happens. I mean, if I win a crown from this, oh dear Lord, I'll, I'll be entering all these competitions. Who knows what I'll be on next drag race, maybe. Ooh. Fingers in crossed. If you get there before Gladys Duffy, she's she's going to come for you. Oh, she will come for No, <laughs> you know. Gladys is fabulous. She is. Like, she'll get there before me for sure. I mean, this is the wonderful thing, though, where we've been seeing, like, all the different sides of Gloria. Like, your, your like, uh, co bu what do you say, bus number? I want to say, like, coach trip number. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. that was so good last week. Like, the idea of having this narrative that brought all of your numbers in the 10 minute slot together was fabulous because we've seen you be the coach when we went to go and see yeah. uh Chozza's play uh -huh. in uh yeah. where was it was it um, darlington where was it oh god i can't remember um, it was Portland summer. spring there yeah we, that's we, we it, know yeah. places yeah we totally <laughs> were paying attention <laughs> but no it, it's like was that the inspiration for that it was such a good idea yeah so um i was sort of thinking i was like what can i do and then yeah i thought Oh, well, I've been on a bus. Why don't I take you on a bus around the UK? Yeah. And then, who knows, maybe I'll be on the next coach trip. Me and Brendan can do one together. That would be so good. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the thing, though. It's seeing everyone taking the competition to the next level, going, they've got 10 minutes to do stuff. And we have some contestants where they're going, oh, I'm going to do, like, three numbers just stacked after each other with no, like, kind of cohesion. Yeah. And yet you're thinking out the box. You're thinking about how do I make this into a full show? How do I make it into that? It's really good. Well, thanks so much, my love. Like, yeah, it's what I've wanted to do for a while, like, put together a full show. So... Hopefully, yeah. fingers crossed, you'll have a solo show for me soon, but we've got other news coming as well, so. Ooh, well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. Are you optimistic about tonight? Yes. Um, I feel like every single person tonight brings their own strengths and qualities, so it is anyone's, anyone could possibly win. Um, but I'm, I'm really hopeful that I, my voice sticks through, um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm. I'm just enjoying it. Like, that's what I'm... I'm just living, laughing and loving. <laughs> <laughs> and I have one question that I've just thought up now, though, oh. which is a bit shady, but obviously last week we had the controversial uh, exit of Bonnie Love from the competition, and you live with Bonnie Love. Yeah. Like, has there been any cupboard door slammings? Has there been any, like, diva moments? Like, because we're still shocked by it. We're still shocked that, like, Bonnie didn't get through to the final, but uh, how's it been? Um, I'm still shocked that Bonnie's not in the final because she's a phenomenal performer and like so talented. Um, but like, no, it's honestly she's been so supportive of me this week. And like, if she has had any grudges, she's not shown it to me. She's just been so like so supportive, and I've been like, oh, she's been amazing. Yeah. Especially she's been like, just do this, go on. Yeah. Maybe she set me up to fail. Maybe this <laughs> is what's it. happening. No. Yeah, yeah, totally do this number. <laughs> totally, you know, no, it's just really bad taste stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, so, no, she's been fabulous. Three hours later. It's me, the Velvet Snatch. We don't know when the last video cut off, so we've uh, hitting you slightly, slightly later than uh, before, but um, uh, some things have happened, uh, yeah, certain yeah. things, which is that you, Gloria Love, have won our entry for Drag Idol UK Newcastle. <laughs> How amazing is that? Oh, I just can't believe it. I'm still, like, over the moon. I'm, like, I'm truly speechless. I, I like, I just, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to not draw attention to the fact that you're now covered in gold. It's yeah, like, the <laughs> like Yeah, the confetti cannons went off. It went in my mouth. I was still trying to sing a but um no, yeah, I'm just oh, I do feel like amazing at the moment. And I'm just like, oh, I can't believe it.
Well, that, I, I think it's the sort of thing of like going, that was pro probably the easiest decision a set of judges has, uh, have ever had. Like the fact that everyone was chanting your name throughout the whole thing. I think if they hadn't have announced you as the winner, we would have been like, pourquoi? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, um, it was like it was during our performance, like looking out into the crowd and everyone had their torches up. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow, this is a really special moment. And then at the end, everyone chanted my name. I was like, oh, no. I was <laughs> like, I, I, I'm just like, oh, I'm just little old me. And yeah. everyone's just opened their arms. And yeah, I just, oh, <laughs> like, oh. I can't express how much love I have for everyone. Like all the love and support. Like, oh. It was such a moment, like, you know, you didn't need to tell people to get their phones out and then everyone had the, like, you know, they had the, the light on on their phones, they were waving them around, they were so into it. It was, it was amazing. Like, what made you choose those songs to do? Um, so, all those songs have sort of been quite poignant throughout my drag career. Um, and they're sort of my favourite ones to perform and I thought, going into the Drag Idol finale here, I just want to show what I love to do and what... I think I do best, and mm. well, it turned out well. Well, you but, did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just like, oh. Yeah. I mean, considering when we chatted before, you were like, oh, well, I've got a sore throat, I've got laryngitis and stuff, yeah. and then you pulled Purple Rain out of the bag. What? I know. Well, yeah, I was, I was singing. I was like, is this note going to come out? And I was like, <laughs> it, yeah, there was a few notes. It that did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I'm like, I think the adrenaline took over, like so. Yeah, I'm just. Oh. <laughs> and how do you feel about your runner-up, Reese Weatherspoon? How do you think they did today? Reese, uh, like every single week throughout, they've just been phenomenal. Like Reese does what they do, and no one else does it, and they do it so well. And I just, I adore them. <laughs> I'm like, they just make me laugh so much, and I just think they, they would have been a fabulous winner as well. Like, like, oh yeah. I think I think it's our thing. It's like I, I I love that when we interviewed them, they were like, "Oh well, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna give Kelly a chocolate orange," and we were like, "What?" You know, <laughs> and they just skirted over it. And then in their performance, that's exactly what they do. And I was like, "This is the madness I can get on board with." <laughs> yeah, it is just like you don't know what you're gonna get, but you know that you're gonna have a good time, whatever happens. Yeah. And it, it's so much fun. I'm like, so yeah, if I if I do get injured or something happens to me before <laughs> that, Reese has got my place. Um, so. I'll just yeah. wrap myself in bubble wrap for now. Yeah, and then, yeah. Don't go to Loughborough. Yeah, don't go to Loughborough. I don't want to die. Um, no, no, it's, it's so fun. Like, and are you excited for Manchester? Oh, I'm so excited for Manchester. Oh, I love Manchester as it is, but to get to go down and represent Newcastle, yeah. I'm so excited. And so, yeah, yeah. it's going to be a great time. And I feel like we do we need to get like a little bus and take everyone down because that would be... We're I, I mean, I'm biased, but every time on the podcast we talk about, like, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race and stuff, I just go, these bitches haven't seen Newcastle drag. And to have, like, you know, it's the fact of how good we are, and Chozza pointed it out before about the idea of we need to steal this show, and I don't think we could have a better, you know, entrant into the competition than you, Gloria. Thank you so much. That means a lot, like, because uh, Newcastle drag is phenomenal. Uh, the queens kings things they are all so talented and to be representing newcastle on a nationwide scale it's just amazing yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for speaking with me gloria and good luck in manchester thank you so much velvet for having me on girl global <laughs> oh girl oh 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 o